Hi there, welcome to this tutorial. In the last three videos, we have discussed a few techniques for handling exceptions in normal threads. Starting with this video, we will discuss how to handle exceptions in executor threads. The techniques are almost the same as we had discussed in regards to normal threads. First of all, you need an implementation of uncaught exception handler interface which is an inner interface of the third class. After that, there are three ways in which you can use instances of this uncaught exception handler to handle exceptions in your application's threads. The first way is exactly the same as that for normal threads. That is, you can set an instance of uncaught exception handler as default handler for all the threads system-wide. For executors, this means that if you create multiple executor pools in your application, then each thread in each of these pools will be serviced by this same instance of uncaught exception handler for handling the exceptions. Moreover, if you have some normal threads also created in your application with no custom handlers, then those threads will also be serviced by this handler instance only. The skeleton class here named handling executor uncaught exceptions for every thread will be our main class. Don't use such names for your production applications by the way. Anyways, we are going to create two different executor pools in this class and run some exception throwing tasks in them. For the tasks, we will use the instances of exception leaking task only that we have used in the previous three tutorials. Let me show it to you. And as uncaught exception handler implementation, we will use thread exception handler only. Again, we have used it in the previous three tutorials also. Let's get to work now. First of all, we have set an instance of thread exception handler as the system wide default handler. Then we have created two instances of executor pools and submitted three tasks each to them. Lastly, we have shut down both the pools. Our main class is complete now. Let us run it. Here pool 1 thread 1, pool 1 thread 2 and pool 1 thread 3 are threads from the first pool and pool 2 thread 1, pool 2 thread 2 and pool 2 thread 3 are threads belonging to the second pool. We see that exceptions in all the threads from both the pools have been handled by the same system wide default handler. We can identify it from the 
hash code as well as the ID that we gave it default underscore handler. Hence, one uncaught exception handler instance specified as the default handler can be used to handle uncaught exceptions in all the threads in an application. That's all for this tutorial. In the next video, we will discuss how to specify specific handlers for different threads. Till then, take care and bye.